Hello, my name is Dr. Cheza Kambasha, and um, the reason why I'm applying for the 27 Agro Ambassador of the of 27 is because I basically believe that um, Ignite Africa has got the potential to provide food security for millions of Zimbabweans who have been um, shortchanged as um, in regards to the land reform program that did not equally allocate land to people, especially the youth. So what we are um, implementing is what we call the vertical farming strategy, where we can have fish farming, vegetable farming, all done in a vertical structure. Therefore, we minimize the allocation for land. And number two, it's done in a sustainable and renewable manner. Our vegetable waste is fed to the fish, and the fish manure is what we use for um, our fertilizer for our vegetables. Um, all this will be structured in a vertical structure within communities that are highly deprived and that are suffering as a result of drought. Um, the center will run using solar energy and um, the water for the center will be through water harvesting methods. Therefore, we can guarantee food security. Um, we intend to use hybrid seeds that allow us to have um, a maximum output of our crop. So we're looking at um, things like cabbage, onion, tomato, beetroot, um, and drought resistant um, crops as well, looking into cassava and peas. Um, what we'll do with the excess is that the excess stock of what we have within the ground will then supply um, agro-businesses that then empower the communities. So we may set it up in a, in a sustainable structure where whatever we put in, the excess we have is either canned, frozen, and sent off to food centers. That way the communities can regenerate the funding and the money that they get. So it's a full circle cycle. And this way nobody's left hungry, nobody's left unemployed. One center will be looking to employ at least 5,000 villages per center. So in Zimbabwe having 10 provinces, that would be 10, 10 vertical structures. Um, these vertical structures will have solar windows. These vertical structures will work um, using especially the youth who would need to be trained thereby would also be advocating for policy change to then twerk the policies that are in regards to agriculture for them to be aligned to globalization and global growth in terms of trends that are coming in the farming world. Thank you.